So this video tutorial looks at the mathematical strand of real number and more specifically we're going to focus on multiplying and dividing decimal numbers. So essentially when you're multiplying decimals, okay, the first thing you need to do is to multiply the decimal by a power of 10, okay, or essentially just move the decimal place to turn that decimal into a whole number. Uh, once you've got both decimals into whole numbers, you just multiply them out normally like you would. Uh, and then you divide your answer, uh, I've got by the product of the powers of the original, originally multiplied in step one, but essentially uh, you just move the decimal place back um, how many times you moved it previously. And I'll give you a, a bit of an example which might help you understand what I mean by that. So let's say we've got 0 0.4 and we want to multiply it by 0 0.3. Well, the first thing we want to do is we want to move the decimal place one spot, oops, rub that out, I'll do a different colour. One spot on each number, okay, to make them whole numbers. So that gives us four times by three. And I'll just put as a side note that we've moved, moved the decimal two spots overall. because we moved it one spot here and we moved it one spot there. So when we're actually multiplying our whole numbers, we end up with four times three, which gives us 12. Okay, now 12, remember, as a decimal is actually 12.0. So considering when we've moved the decimal two spots to start with, we now need to move the decimal, spot, uh, decimal point two spots back, all right? So we've moved it two spots back and therefore our total answer at the end is going to be 0 0.12. Alright, so remember, however many times you move the decimal place to the right normally, all right, at the end, when we move it back to the left, we've got to move it the total spots again. So let's have a look at some example questions. In our first question, we've got 0 0.2 times 0 0.05. Well, we know if we move the decimal spot once, Okay, so we've moved it to the decimal spot once. That gives us a whole number of two. If we move it twice, that gives us a whole number of five. Now, two times five is going to equal ten. And then we just need to move the decimal spot back a total of three times because we've moved it a total of three times. So if we've got a, a decimal number of 10.0, and we move the decimal spot back three times, one, two, three, we're going to end up with an answer of 0 0.010 as our answer in the end. Okay, so we can say that 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.05 is actually just going to equal 0 0.010 or 0 0.01. In our second example, we've got 1.2 times 0 0.4. Again, if we move our decimal place one spot and one spot, so we've moved it one and we moved it one, that gives us a total of two, two spots we've moved it, and our whole numbers now become 12 times by four. We know 12 times by four is 48. If 48 to decimal, we've got 48.0. We now need to move the decimal spot back two spots, because we moved it two spots to the right originally, that gives us an answer of 0 0.48. Now when we are dividing decimals, okay, the first thing you want to do is write your division as a fraction. If you can write it as a fraction, all right, you're going to have a numerator and a denominator. Now essentially what you need to do is you need to multiply those numerator and denominators by powers of 10 or essentially move the decimal place so that they're both whole numbers and you just need to make sure that whatever you do to the top you must do to the bottom All right so here's an example let's say we have 0 0.9 and we want to divide it by 0 0.3 first thing we do is we write it as a fraction now we can't actually have uh, decimal numbers in our fraction we want to make them whole numbers okay so we're going to move decimal point one spot in our numerator 
and one spot our denominator. If we do it one on each, the numerator and the denominator, all right, that's going to give us whole numbers. All right, and that's going to give us 9 divided by 3, or 9 over 3. And we know that 9 over 3 is actually just going to give us an answer of 3. So let's look at uh, some examples. Obviously, we're going to be using similar numbers to what we had uh, previously. All right, so again, our first question when we're dividing decimals, we put our numbers in a fraction. All right. Now, in this particular case, if we move the decimal place at the top one spot, we get a whole number, which is 2. But if we move the decimal place one spot down the bottom, we still end up with a decimal, so we actually need to move it twice. And because we're moving it twice in our denominator, that actually means we need to move it twice in our numerator as well. Because whatever you do to the bottom, you've got to do to the top. In this case, we're actually times it by 100. So this gives us an answer of 20 over a denominator of 5. And we know that 20 divided by 5 gives us an answer of 4. In our second question, we've got 1.2 divided by 0 0.4. Now we can see straight away that if we move the decimal place one spot on the numerator and the denominator, we end up with whole numbers. That gives us 12 over 4. And we know that 12 divided by 4 is actually 3. Okay, now there are some practice questions I'd like you to have a go at. Uh, pause the video here. Um, when you think you've got the correct answers, continue the video and uh, we'll go through them and see how you went. Okay, so let's see how you went. In our first question, we've got 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.5. Now remember when we're multiplying uh, our decimals, we want to make them whole numbers. So we've actually moved the decimal point one spot and we've moved it one spot again which has given us a total of two spots we've moved the decimal place this has ended up with 3 times 5 we know 3 times 5 is 15 and if we've got 15.0 as our number we then need to move the decimal place back the amount of spots we originally moved it okay in this particular case it's 2 so our answer is going to be 0 0.15 in our next question, we have 0 0.45 divided by 0 0.09. I'm going to write them as a, a fraction, like we talked about. And remember that all we need to do is make sure that we have whole numbers on both the numerator and the denominator. Uh, in this particular case, if we move the decimal place two spots on each side, uh, each the denominator and the numerator, we'll end up with 45 over 9. We know that 45 divided by 9 is 5. So that's going to be our answer. In our third question, remember that when you have a negative times a negative, it gives a positive. So we can actually just cancel out these negatives and we just end up with 0 0.7 multiplied by 0 0.3. Again, if we move our decimal place one spot Okay, we've moved to one spot here and one spot here. That's given us moving at two spots, and we, that gives us our whole numbers of 7 multiplied by 3. We know 7 multiplied by 3 is 21. So if we have 21 as a decimal here, remember that we've moved our decimal place two spots to the right in total. So we've got to move it two spots back in total, which gives us 0 0.21. And our last question We've got 0 0.06 divided by 0 0.0003. I've written it as a fraction because that's what we talked about. I now need to make sure that I move the decimal place the same amount on the numerator and the denominator in order to have whole numbers on both. Uh, I can see that my denominator in this particular case is a smaller number, so I've actually had to move it four spots, so I need to make sure I move my top number decimal place or the numerator decimal place four spots which gives me 600 divided by 3 All right. I know 600 divided by 3 is going to give me an answer of 200